In this first lesson in Photoshop, I want to talk about basic cleaning up, retouching tools in Photoshop that we have. Something that is highly underrated, but value of this is one of the most important in whole process of retouching images. And understanding these tools is really crucial for your career, for your future and the quality of your images you're going to produce. Because when it comes to the small spots on the skin, as you can see, for example, these ones, uh, so everything I'm talking, small scars, small spots, some hair, strain hair on the body, uh, you, you need to take care of them. And removing them by some sort of shortcuts, it's not that effective and that might actually destroy your image. So we can make a few different categories. Uh, we can split the tools to few different that we are using. The first tool and most common that we'll be using is hidden brush tool. The other very similar will be spot healing brush tool that also I will say a few words about. And also we have patch tool. So these are three tools that we will be using for cleaning up. Mostly you will end with one that you will feel most comfortable. And the other tool that we also use for cleaning up is clone stamp tool. So let me start from the tool that is mostly used and I'm talking about hidden brush tool. What is very important also for your workflow is you want to work non-destructively. So you don't really want to work on the actual image because once you're going to work on the actual layer and you do some mistakes, you cannot do a step back. And the other thing is we work with the smart objects. You can't really work on the smart object. So how I work, I create the empty layer on which I'm going to work. Thanks to this, I will be working 100% non-destructively. I'm going to rename this layer into clean up. And also a few informations that we need to pay attention. As a sample, you want to make sure that is checked current below. If you have checked current layer, it will be impossible to work because current layer is empty. So there is no information on this. Current below or all arrays are on the option you can choose in this case. And the current below, of course, is the best choice because you will not affect the layers above in case you will have them. So this is the first step you need to make sure. And also about working with hidden brush tool, you want to make sure that your brush is 100% hard. Why? Because if the brush will be soft, you might destroy the skin texture. So how this tool works? Simply, we need to take sort of a sample next to the spot we want to clean. So let's start from this spot. And on the MacBook, I will be pressing Alt or Option. It's Alt on Windows device. And as you can see, I'm getting this cross. So I'm going to hit on my tablet, if you use mouse somehow, which is not recommended because it will slow down all of the process, you click and then I'm covering the spot. And what is happening now? I copied the texture, but the color is automatically adjusted to the color around. So on the one thing that was copied was the texture. And then when we cover other things, we copy the texture from place next to the spot and then we cover in the, the spot and the color is automatically adjusted in this case. Pretty simple theory, right? I, I know it uh, works very simple, very efficient, sort of like a magic, but it's actually not. The other tool I want to explain is Spot Healing Brush tool, which as name says, must be very similar and it really is. But in this case, we don't really need to press Alt or Option because it's all done automatically. So I'm just covering the spot and the texture and the color is itself all fully adjusted. It seems to be really good, but you need to understand when the work requires some more precision, you don't really want to use this tool because it might end up badly and the better option will be really healing brush tool, even if you might lose this few seconds for taking a sample. 
Also, what's important when you will be cleaning up, you want to have a few perspectives. You want to zoom out and zoom in the image to see if you're doing everything correct. To do this, I simply press Z on my keyboard and then slide in on the tablet. You can also press Command or Control and plus on your keyboard or minus, but probably just pressing Z and using shortcuts will be much uh, faster. Now, I want to skip patch tool at the moment and I will show you how to work with the clone stamp tool, which is also very important. And once again, the sample will be everything the same. The one difference is how I work with clone stamp is soft edge brush because I use clone stamp actually to even out some of the shadows. This is major factor why I use this. So clone stamp works slightly different. When you press alt or option, you indeed copy the texture, but it's not only one thing you copy, you also copy the color. So for example, when I'm going to do this and apply in the random area, as you can see, it doesn't look well. Probably the healing brush would do a little better with this. But when it comes to really sorting out the shadows, it will be much more effective than healing brush was because healing brush tool doesn't work that well when it comes to work close to the edges. For example, let me change to healing brush and I'm going close to the edge. As you can see now, it, it seems fine, but once we try to sort this out, we can get these weird patches, weird distortion, and going with clone stamp and getting close to the edge, we can be actually much more careful with adjusting everything to the line. So clone stamp, better for getting close to the edges. As you can see, for example, here I can even zoom in more, sort out this close to the edges with soft edged brush clone stamp. Don't worry if you will lose just a little bit of the texture no one really can notice this small amounts of texture and everything that is not close to the edge i try to sort out with of course healing brush except the shadows when i it's needed of course i'm using i'm mixing these two tools actually when it's rough like here i will go with the clone stamp and everything else i will try to sort out with healing brush. Few things you need to pay attention. Many people do this mistake that they retouch only the face, but they forget about the rest of the body. And of course you can't forget, for example here, we will not be retouching this water, but sometimes we might have some splash, some single splash that you don't really want, for example here, and we might clean this in the same way. Also pay attention to the rest of the image because there might be sometimes some object that needs to be removed. So now I want to show you the patch tool and I think this is the perfect example where we could use this. But for patch tool you can't really work with empty layer. So you need to create actual layer which is not my favorite way because it also means working destructively. But let's create new layer if as long as it's not your base layer that will be absolutely fine. And now I'm going to press command option Shift and E to create a layer. It will be impossible to create this from, from this smart object. That's why we need to create empty layer first. And then once again, command, option, shift and E all together. And you will create this. If it's Windows device, that will be control, alt, shift and E. Now I'm going to rename this as a patch tool. So I know I will be working with the patch tool. And how does it work? Simply, we choose a patch tool. I see some scar here. I'm doing the circle around there. And as you can see, I'm moving and trying to adjust these edges so it looks as natural as possible. It's also possible that we could do this using other tools, but of course, some of the people might actually prefer to work with the patch tool so that is really good to show you how you can work. If I have all other spots, of course, I would create empty layer above this. Once again, name this clean up and then all the rest did with, I would say, my favorite healing brush tool and also most commonly used, but it's all used for a reason and clean up all of the other spots. I can't tell you how long it takes to clean up the spots 
but it's very important to know which spots need to be clean. So spots, small scars, pimples, these are the spots that you don't want to have on a daily basis. So the perfect face is the one that doesn't have spots that doesn't exist in the best day. So you need to think of the model, how her skin would look like when she would have the best day. It would be clean. And that's what you're trying to achieve. Nothing more than that because it will, it will not look very natural. So these are the basic about cleaning up and let's do some solid work. So I'm going to clean up uh, this image quickly using the techniques and tools I just showed you. So I'm creating the empty layer. I'm going to name this clean up. And here I have some hair. I want to start working with healing brush at the moment and probably all of the work or at least most of the work will be done in that with this tool. So I'm trying to clean a little bit here and I'm doing this because I want to clean this spot. I must say some people wouldn't be bothered probably if it would go just to the social media, but if you're doing work that will represent your portfolio, it's really good to take this few minutes and clean up the skin a little bit better. So we will need to take a few minutes and quickly remove the spots. Also, if you will feel that you need to even out some spots on the hair, the best tool in this case will be using clone stamp because you can copy everything. You take in the copy next to the spot you want to remove and just paint on it with this soft edge brush. And as you can see, it will look very natural. Or if you have hair that you consider as too shiny, you can easily blend them with the rest of the hair. As you can see with this soft moves if you need. But with campaigns like this, you don't really need to go that far, except maybe this few hair over here. I would like to blend for a little bit better result. And also have an opportunity to show you how to deal with this stuff. It could be important with few different examples in the future. Also, I would probably try to blend this few hair over here, I would try to clean them first with healing brush. Don't worry if we do some uh, shadow disproportions because it all can easily be fixed. I'm not going too far with this because also what is very important for me is to make this image looking natural. So I only want to deal with this few hair ending over here. So we still have some not too nice discoloration, but we can simply deal with this and later fix this up a little bit more. So the model face is really clean. Uh, it's all really good. We will have few hair over here. And then of course, rest of the body, make sure you will clean all of these tiny spots as we have a few here, a few discolorations, some hair, for example, that doesn't suit to anything. The small spots like uh, moles is not something you would have to clean. What I really um, always try to advise to people, pay attention to the um, bikini areas because they tend to have a lot of spots. So it's really need to be taken care of a little bit here. Uh, not always uh, there is too much of cleaning up, but it's really important to have the look. So as you can see, it didn't take too much time, but this is how you clean up the images. And this is how all of the retouching, basic retouching tools in Photoshop work.